Clark County Fire District 6 would like to thank you for the opportunity to present the following information regarding the November 4th lid lift that will appear on your voter ballot. First and foremost, Fire District 6, from our fire service personnel to our volunteers to our Board of Commissioners, is incredibly grateful to serve the communities of District 6. District 6 has provided services for 61 years. It was formed by people in District 6 who wanted fire protection services and were willing to pay for the services they needed. Fire District 6 is not a part of Clark County government. Thank you again for your years of support. Clark County Fire District 6 serves 64,000 people with compassion, care, and professionalism. Our service area covers 37 square miles, which includes Hazeldale, Salmon Creek, Valida, Mount Vista, Lakeshore, and the fairgrounds. Our district also sees a major influx of guests during community events such as amphitheater concerts, the Clark County Fair, and Hazeldale Parade of Bands. Services we provide to our citizens and visitors of the fire district include fire suppression of all types. All career firefighters on staff at Fire District 6 are trained in Advanced Life Support Emergency Medical Services or Basic Life Support Emergency Medical Services, ensuring not just your safety but your health as well. We staff a technical rescue team of 14 members that partake in the Region 4 Response Team, which works with Clark, Callitz, Skamania, and Waukaikam County on difficult and physically demanding rescues. Fire District 6 personnel are trained on both hazmat awareness and operation levels. Our department works diligently to engage the public in fire prevention, first aid, and safety. Programs run throughout the year to reach all ages of citizens. In the fall, each elementary school through kindergarten and first grade are visited by firefighters promoting fire prevention and safety. Age second grade through fifth grade are engaged in a fire safety poster campaign. We visit each of our middle schools to teach hands-only CPR and AED training, and every senior at both the high schools in our district are also taught hands-only CPR and AED training before graduation. These are just a few examples of programs we run to ensure our citizens' safety. Fire District 6 is transparent and accountable to our taxpayers through our website and our social media accounts, providing a multitude of documents and information. The fire department functions under a balanced budget. Not many fire departments can say they are debt free, but Fire District 6 is proud to say it is. Fire District 6 has passed all financial and accountability audits by the state. Fire District 6 current fire operating budget is approximately $8.269 million. 97% of this funding comes from the fire levy, which is revenue collected directly from property taxes. Other funding comes from pilot fees, payments in lieu of taxes, contracted fire services, City of Vancouver, training to outside department firefighters, our CERT program, grants, and investment interest. Clark County Fire District 6 budgeted expenses for 2015 are approximately $9,397,226. The majority of the expenses go to emergency services, which essentially is the cost of having boots on the streets. It is seeing our firefighters in action through the provision of services. 13.72% support services include those services provided to the district, communications, 911 dispatching, insurance, vehicle repair and maintenance, tuition, registration, etc. Nearly 97% of revenue is from property taxes. The district receives most of this revenue in two installments, after May 1st and after November 1st. This presents challenges as the district must operate and provide service to the community with little revenue for the first four months of the year. The district maintains unreserved funds for with which to operate until revenues are received. The Board of Commissioners adopted this policy to avoid borrowing funds. According to the policy adopted by the Board, the district must begin the year with a minimum unreserved fund, beginning fund balance, of 35% of projected expenses for the following year. Over the past several months, the Chief has sounded the alarm that cracks and problems are starting to show. The concern of call volume going up isn't necessarily the only issue. 
simply put, it's the increasing cost of providing emergency services. Call volumes have skyrocketed 31.25% in 10 years and 10% in the past year alone. In 2014, emergency personnel responded to 6,544 calls. Some areas that are causing increased expenses in emergency services include firefighter training, medical care, which is services provided to citizens as patients, replacing facilities, and repair and replacement of fire engines. These are not expenses that we control. However, we are obligated to pay. It is just a fact of doing business. In order to balance the budget and keep boots on the ground, we've cut expenses, postponed vehicle facility replacements, and have drawn down reserves from 1.6 million to 250,000. The cracks are beginning to show. The impact to emergency response is engines, response vehicles, and emergency equipment are aging. Fortunately, we've not had any vehicles break down en route to emergency scenes, but they are down for repairs more often and need to be replaced. We try to adhere to the guidelines of the National Fire Protection Association. One station, Station 63 in Salmon Creek, is past its usable life, and due to a growing community around the station, its location in proximity to traffic lights and a roundabout traffic revision is causing delays in response times. The impact to emergency responses is many. This year the district was downgraded by the Washington Surveying and Ratings Bureau for inadequate facilities and firefighter training. The result of this could mean increased insurance rates, up to 3% for homeowners and 9% for businesses. We are hoping to stop this trend before it gets worse. We are in need of a levy lid lift to restore funding. The fire levy rate has fallen from $1.50 to $1.27 per $1,000 of assessed valuation. We are asking voters to restore funding to $1.50 on the November ballot, where it was last appropriated in 1995. This would be an additional $4.79 per month, approximately $0.57.50 .50 per year, for the owner of a $250,000 home. This amount is sufficient to fund daily operations and reserves to replacing aging apparatus, making facilities improvements and replace one station, improve firefighters' safety and training programs, and to do the, all of this without incurring debt, which would cost taxpayers more. Administrative chiefs discussed with Washington Survey and Ratings Bureau representatives regarding the district's downgrade from a PC rating of 3 to 4. Critical areas noted were facilities and the firefighter training program. Commissioners and chiefs desire to stop this trend before it gets worse. The board has approved a resolution to place a lid lift on November 3rd ballot, giving citizens the opportunity to restore the rate to $1.50. Passing the lid lift would make it possible to not incur debt. Our contingency plan, should the voters say no, include continuing to provide the best service possible within our budget, borrowing money to replace apparatus and equipment, which could cost taxpayers more because of interest payments. Ask voters to approve bond to replace fire stations. Cut non-emergency personnel, fire prevention and safety programs, and reduce firefighter staffing levels through attrition. Thank you for taking the time to listen to the facts regarding the Lidlift proposition that will be on the November 3rd ballot. If you have questions, please contact Fire Chief Jerry Green.